Hello and welcome. It's the chat. My name is Manny. I'm a great fan of my guests on the program today. He is simply legendary. An icon of inestimable philosophical insights, business acumen, musical talent, cultural hero, and a humanist of profound imports, Chief Dr. Bongus Igoche Ikwe was born in Otupo, Benue State, Nigeria in 1942. At the time, his parents resided in Jos Plateau State. There, Bongus was among the few kids selected to welcome Queen Elizabeth II during her visit in 1956 at Rayfield Airstrip. Bongos wrote his Cambridge West African School Certificate Examination in 1961. Coming out with an excellent result from that, he proceeded to Okene in Kogi State for his Higher School Certificate HSC in 1962. During his time there, he and two other boys formed a musical group, Kubana Boys. He gained admission into Amadu Bello University ABU Zaria to study electrical engineering, but dropped out in the second year to chase his burning passion music. Bongo's first musical success started with a hit song, No More Water in the Well, released on the EMI Recording Company in 1974. There was also the listener's favorite, You Can't Hurry the Sunrise. Bongo's Ikwe has been in the Nigerian music scene for over 40 years. In 1974, when Jimmy Cliff toured Nigeria playing in Lagos, Abba and Jos, Bongo's and the Groovies shared the same state with him in Jos Plateau State. Bongos found the heart of many Africans with his love songs, which have kept his name on their lips even after so many years. Some of his popular and evergreen renditions, which still resonate with Nigerians till date, are Amen, Still Searching, or Tachikpupu, popular among his kinsmen, and What's Gonna Be Is Gonna Be. Bongos claims to have over 40 unreleased songs in his archive, his most recent song being Wulu Wulu. In 1981, Bongos was co-opted into the production of the popular TV series Cock Crow at Dawn, produced by Peter Ego and designed to encourage Nigerians to go back to farm. The theme song was a monstrous hit in the 80s until date. Bongos is married to Josephine and their union is blessed with five children. Well, there we go, Bongos. I have been a great fan of yours all along. But I'm talking about 40 years. Thank you. Nice to know that. 40 uh, years of massive musical success behind you. Thank you. I That's don't sad. know this thing about you and Otupo. Otupo is where I was yeah, born. Yeah, I know my... you were born there. I know you come from there. But that's but, my mean, city. That's yeah, my town. You love that town so much. Both my mother and father come from Otupo. Yes, but and everything. In fact, three, four, five generations back, mother and father are undiluted. The, the first album you recorded, was it 1973? I, I don't quite remember the year, but my first you album... You Can't Hurry the Sunrise. You Can't Hurry the Sunrise. What was, was going on at that in time? In the Ark Studio in Ikeja. It was then, the studio was owned by a uh, British drummer, British Ginger Baker. That was where I did my first album, You Can't Hurry the Sunrise. What was it? Why, why, why that title? I don't know. But uh, sometimes titles come when they come, as they come, if they come. Bongos, you're very good. We, we, we don't have any more like you, songwriters in this country. Thank you. Know, you. We Thank don't. You. I mean, I, I also remember the other song. Is it something like the Empty Well? No More Water in no the Well. No More Water in the Well. <laughs> it's like Empty Well. <laughs> I like your title too, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you come up with such great titles for such you know? songs, you know? Was there anyone who was inspiring you at the time you were growing up? Well, I, my inspiration came from my late brother. Uh, he, he was a policeman, and he did buy a lot of records. He stopped playing his, uh, his songs from like 4.35 in the morning, and I would lay, lay on the floor there. We lived in one room in the barracks. He slept on a high bed, and I slept on a low mattress. When he played, I, I, I lay down there and listened. All them, Isley Brothers, uh, Skeeter Davis, Elvis Presley, and I go on and on. And uh, music from the Congo and all of that, he played and played. 
Yeah. Uh, I, I was going to say when you mentioned Elvis Presley, your haircut, it has never been <laughs> Changed. What, what would it has changed. You? You know, would I think it has you? changed. I think it has changed. Uh, I used to have a lot more hair than now. Yeah, so, but what would anyone give you to cut down your hair? Shave your know. hair off. Can you suggest something? <laughs> uh, can you make me an offer? 500,000? That is no money. You know that. I know. 500,000? I know. Well, well, can that That's buy a broken down car? No, no, no. But, I mean, actually, <laughs> you are 76 years right old. Right now, now, yes. You're right about that. Yeah, and the... Uh, how does it make you feel? I don't think about how old I am. I never thought about it. I don't feel any different except for the fact that uh, I've been sick recently and I'm getting well. Otherwise, I still would not know the difference between 76 and 16. Hmm. I was always going. I kept going. And I believe I'll still keep going. You were, you, were, you were trying to do the same things you were doing when you were 36 uh, but you at see, 77? Yeah, but you see... Uh, when you move some steps, the steps will tell you to slow down. The body itself speaks to you. And if you have any little sense, you listen to your body sometimes. <laughs> That's God's control. Now you have listened to your body. I don't have a choice, do I? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, bungos. I mean, talking about your records, and, you know, I, I, I still can't leave that song, you know, still searching. Because it brought you so much fame yeah. and fortune. And at that time, money had value. Yeah. Because uh, let me tell you this so you can understand what I'm talking about. Uh, when I first bought my first boss, this type of Ekene Dilichuku 43 or 42 seater Mercedes Benz, it was for 27,000 naira along with a spare tire. 27,000 naira. Today, one tire without rim is over. 80 to 100,000 naira. But a complete uh, Mercedes uh, Benz Boss 43 seater with, with uh, eight tires, two, two at the back, two at the front, and a spare tire for 27,000 naira. That was the value of money why, at that why, time. Why did you have to buy the Boss? At because the time? I used it, I call it Groovy Train, and that's but my musicians moved in from city to city when we were uh, playing across oh, Nigeria. Yeah, so the next time it became another big story for you was um, Cock Crow at Dawn. Uh, Cock Crow at Dawn came as a, an offer from NTA. I think it was Peter Ego who approached me. And before this time, I'd written some songs for his programs and he liked them all. And he approached me um, with the offer and ask if I could do a song, uh, uh, um, uh, a track, uh, a soundtrack mm. for their program, Cockroach Dawn. I wrote the words, but he told me the story of what they were about to 